What's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Ebony. Um, today, I'm at home, uh, enjoying my day off. But, you know, like normal people, when you're actually off, you're not really off. You're doing things um, at the house that you need to do to maintain things, like laundry and cooking and other boring things that I don't want to do with my life. Um, but today, I am actually getting ready to prepare myself for next month. And I use my planner to help me pay my bills. Um, I like to stay organized, um, and I'm going to show you how I do stay organized with all my bills and paying them on time with um, my weekly and monthly planner. So stay tuned to see how I pay these bills with my money. Okay everyone, so here's my weekly and monthly planner that I have that I use to pay all my bills. Um, I am getting ready to set up for the month of um, December. So I'm going to go find the December tab. Turning there. Now, this book comes uh, set up with weekly pages as well where I could write what I need to do by the day but um I actually like using the monthly version um, it's very easy for me to just look at the calendar as a whole from the beginning of December um, to the end of December um, so this is actually and then I also have my notes on the side to where I can write down everything uh, that I need to do for the month that's important um, so how I get started is I use my pen the pen I use is a um, it's like a pen um, highlighter I'm gonna show you why I need the highlighter portion in a second alright so the first thing I do when I get ready to pay my bills for the month in advance which we're working on the month of December uh, I write all my bills down from um, pretty much the most important to the least important. All your bills are important, but the ones I need to be paid first. So we're going to go um, rent, uh, lights, water, phone bill, and then we have um, student loans. And then we have car payment, car insurance, um, we have daycare, um, gas is really not a bill, but I'll put it on there anyway. And I think that's all the bills that I have for the month. I'm trying to think. Let me look back at November, make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope. It looks like about everything. Okay. So, I wrote everything on the side here. Now, I usually put it in the calendar dates as they are due. So, rent's always due on the first. My lights are typically do on the 6th. My water, which is the next thing on the list. Mm. It's due on the 26th. Alright, let's see. My phone bill is due on the 8th of every month. Student loans are due on the 5th of every month. Sorry for my handwriting. Car payment is due on the 9th of every month. Car insurance is due the 20th of every month. 
daycare is due every Friday. Um, and then gas, I'll have it due once a week, and let's just say every Thursday we put gas in the car. Um, doesn't take much to fill up my tank, which is great. All right, and now what I also like to do, I actually like to write the amount that my stuff is due each week so I know how much I am paying uh, for everything. Um, I can set my uh, monthly budget amount to the side for the entire month. Okay, so this is typically how I do my bills. Um, I put all my bills, list them first, and then I put them as they're due, and then I put the amount that, you know, I usually pay. Um, and then what I do is, um, with my highlighter pen, I'll go in, and whatever I paid for the month, I'll take my highlighter and I highlight it, so that way I know it's paid. Then I also highlight it over here. So once everything is highlighted in the book for um, for the month of December, then from there, um, whatever money comes in, I usually save. Or if I have something planned, then I can use that money to do whatever I need to do for that month. Um, but typically, this is how I go about paying my bills.